Right, hey there, how you doing? It's Jacob here, you know, I'm sorry I'm not young and pretty like um, Davey Wavy or any other numerous gay guys that are doing their vlogs and blogs, but I'll deal with it, you know. Us older guys deserve to have a voice as well, you know, and it shouldn't just be about our fucking looks. And our youth, us older guys, have a lot of wisdom, excuse me, and knowledge to share. We, we your age, we were the young gay guys, when it weren't so fucking cool to be gay, when gay bars quite often, or gay clubs quite often, were boarded up, and you had a high risk of having the shit kicked out of you when you were coming out of them because there were people waiting outside. In fact, the first the first gay bar I went to in 1991 um, near my hometown when I came out was boarded up. Blackboards everywhere. And when I asked the barman, I went, oh, so why are these windows boarded up? He said, because we can't afford to replace the glass anymore. We've had so many bricks put through our windows. This was 23 years ago. Not 223 years ago. 23 years ago. I'm, I'm 46. Yeah, you might think that's really fucking old, but it's not really, you know. And I'm in pretty good nick for my age. But you know, we must stop this fucking ageism on the gay scene. We must stop this ageism and this beauty fascinated and beauty youth focused media that we have. I am sick to death of seeing the same stories recycled on Gay Star News and Huffington Post and Pink News and, and all of these so called gay media outlets always interested in stories of the young handsome guys coming out not so interested in the older guys coming out you know and 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 you know sometimes for older guys to come out it's a big fucking deal because they might have been married beforehand or or whatever you know but because they're not handsome and because they're not attractive and because they're not young the gay media ain't fucking interested you know and this is wrong this all does our community a disservice, okay? Now, we ought to be an all-embracing community of everybody, irregardless of age, gender, looks, physicality, whether or not their disability, if you've got mental health issues, you know, we ought to be a much more encompassing and welcoming community because we still deal with homophobia, we still deal with transphobia, we still deal with biphobia, we still have have um, victories to make, you know, you've got fuckwits in America who aren't letting you get married, you've got that stupid bitch Kim Davis who thinks that she's a fucking word of the mouth of fucking God, you know, and, and, and is more powerful than your fucking Supreme Court refusing to marry gay couples so we still have work to fucking do you know um and some of those gay couples that she's refused to marry have been in relationships longer than how old you are you know so we need a lot less attitude from your young guys a lot less ageism from your young guys and we really need from our our media, a more welcoming approach to all of our community. I want to see stories of older guys coming out or older women coming out, you know, or um, stories about people with disabilities, people who aren't so physically appealing, all of that, you know, I am sick to fucking death of it, I really am. You know, it's like, oh, someone's come out. Oh, yes, his story's been featured because he's fucking cute. It's like 
what message is that sending out to other people? You know, oh, we're not going to be interested in them coming out because they're not fucking cute. I.e. basically you want to shag them and have sex with them, you know? Um, you know, and I just don't think it's right. I really don't think it's right. And I really feel that we need, we need to build a, 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 a better community for us. We need to build a more inclusive community for people to, to come out, <laughs> you know, and if anyone's there, you're not wearing your fucking shirt in this video. It's because it's fucking hot in my room. That's why, you know, um, I don't take my shirt off a lot because I'm not that, um, you know, I'm not that vain or self, self, um, centered or self orientated or self obsessed. Like a lot of these young guys are who vlog, you know. Um, so come on, you know, listen to everybody, listen to the older guys, listen to some of the less attractive guys, because they may have some wisdom for you that you've not heard because you're focused on your tongues being out, listening to the handsome, cute guys, and your focus is on their looks and their physicality rather than what they're fucking saying, you know. So. Give some space to us older guys, us, us wiser guys. Give us some space. You might learn from us. You never know. You know, and not all of us want to shag you. I certainly don't want to shag younger guys. Thank you very much. You know, no way. Oh, you know. Um, so just bear that in mind and look after yourselves and be kind to yourselves and be gentle to yourselves and each other.